Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can store save variables while using shared references so that you can get this data and change as you like. This is helpful when we want to get previous data after the app restart or launch sometimes later. This data will not lose even if you turn off the device. We have other options like databases, files and so on, but for this variable values like true, false or count variable, we don't need to write lengthy code for this little. But keep remember when we want to save large data or relational data, you have to use databases, file system or we have Firebase. So to use shared preferences, we must add package. If I go to the Dartpub website and let me search for shared preferences here I click on the first link here you can see a readme file we have an example here set and get data from shared preferences this is the latest version so let's select the shared preferences text with the version and let's go to the pubstake.yaml file in the project directory here you can see all the dependencies used in this app after the cappuccino, let's paste text and add a comma. Now press package get. Okay, no errors. Let's go to the main.dart file. Here we have our previous video code. If you didn't watch that video, please go and watch it. Otherwise, I'll add a link to that code. Let me show you what we have here. One button and one text widget. Now I want to add one more button here and one more text widget down the button. First, let me add those uh, before you share preferences. Copy this raise button, paste it uh, down the press button. We only have to change two places here text for the label. Let me change both to plus one and minus one. Now, when we press plus one, we need to increase value, and when we press minus one, we need to decrease the value. So, our on press property also should be changed. Let me cut this property and paste it paste as the last property. This will help me to change whenever I want. This is the word up method and this should be the word down method. Undefined a uh, bear name uh, word down because uh, we didn't implement this method yet. So let's do it now. Create method word down and, and we need to decrease this variable when minus one button press. What's minus minus will do the trick. As I said in the previous video, we have to use set state, otherwise variable will not be rendering the text widget. Now let's run our app. Okay, if I press plus one, value is set. Upgrading, minus one, both buttons are working fine. Now this is not what I wanted. I want another text widget for downwards below this, these buttons. So let me copy this text widget and paste it the below buttons widget. Text is downwards. Now I want another variable for downwards. First let me change this words variable name to upwards. Otherwise I will confuse. Of course I have to change the text widget also. Now let me copy this variable and paste it down below. This variable name is downwards. I have to change the vote down method and the second text widget also. Now let's check our app. If I press downwards, oops, we don't need minus values. Downwards should be increment by one, not decrease. Okay, let's check again. Okay, cool. Now I need these two buttons in one line, uh, I mean button 2 next to the button 1. To do that we can use row multi-child layout or best way to lay out buttons is button bar widget. This widget arrange buttons horizontally. So to do that I'll wrap up both raise button using button bar widget. Add children property. Inside the square bracket cut and paste both raise button widget. Now press out reload. To get these two buttons to the middle of button bar, we have a property main axis size in button bar widget or we can use alignment property also. Let's use main axis size colon main axis size mean main axis size dot mean. This margin coming from the button pin. 
I'm not going to talk about it in this video. So now let's add bottom mapper to show all casted words. Uh, it is so simple. After this enter widget inside this scaffold, at the bottom navigation bar property. Here in this way we can use bottom navigation bar, but for this video it's not needed. Video for that coming soon, so you guys can press subscribe button. So let's use new bottom map bar. Open and close bracket and inside it add child property and let's add the text widget for the text inside the quotes dollar mark total words space words casted let's create that variable in total words equal zero and to get total casted words we need to increment this variable by one in both methods this should also happen inside the set state method because we want this variable to be appear in the bottom map bar so i'm gonna remove fat arrow and add curly braces then uh, total words plus plus semicolon so let's do the same thing to the what up method let's check the app here we have our bottom map bar in white color to add color to the bottom map bar use color property and any color you want i'm going to use the same color that i use a color to change text color inside the text widget use the style property and text style widget inside it use color property and color is white let's run our app yeah cool it's working fine and now if i now if i close this app and relaunch it again Oh my god, our words are gone. Why? The reason is a uh, memory that we are allocating for variables will be erased after the app destroyed. So in order to save these variable values, we have won't use uh, databases, JSON files, or other other ways like shared references. Because we only have to save these two variables values, uh, we don't need to use identity code, so we, we can use shared references easily. In the beginning of this video, we have added the shared preferences package to use that package in main.dart file. We have to import that package. In order to do that, after the material import, inside the course, type package colon shared underscore preferences forward slash shared underscore preferences dot dot add the semicolon now for save and get values we have to create an object of shared preferences without initializing i'm just going to declare it here for that type shared preferences object name any name you like stretch good for me add a symbol now inside the word up method i'm going to initialize our shared preferences object for that type preps equal await shared preferences dot get instance open and close bracket add a semicolon this get instance method return type is future a future is used to represent values or error that will provide it sometimes later i mean in the future so this method returns without completing the task so we can't get or save values without without an object of shared references that's why we have to wait until this instance uh, then only we are going to continue rest of the code in this method as you can see here we have an error undefined name await because in order to use this keyword we have to make this function asynchronous by async keyword now when the app launches we need to get previous values from shared preferences and assign it to our quotes variable to get integer values from shared preferences we have a method called getInt. this method required uh, one argument that is the key for the value shared preferences use key value pairs uh, to save and get values so for the key i'm gonna use upwards this is a cool feature in dart null aware operator what this does here is that if this method return null assign zero to upwards variable for the first time a value of this method is null so you can use this operator or if condition or ternary operator when we press upwards uh, we need to increment this by one for that i'm gonna wrap this thing with brackets and add plus one now the value of upwards variable is updated and we need to save updated values to shared preferences using set int method uh, this method takes two arguments one is the key and the second one is the value 
in this case a uh, key supports and value is the variable name upwards now we don't need to increment here because we are doing it this line that's all we have to write in this method we have to do the same thing in for in the word down method so let me copy these three lines and paste it inside the word down method change variable name upwards to downwards k is downwards in both methods also remove post increment from upwards in the set state method now let's run our app plus one value is increasing minus one now we have four upwards and two downwards let me close this app and open it again values aren't displayed if i press plus one as you can see upwards is five with previous four downward should be three with previous two yes it is so why upwards didn't display when app started that because uh, each and every time app started these uh, three variable values aren't zero and to change values we have to press a button so we need to get values from shared preferences and assign it to these variables outside the whatsapp and vote down method there is a method in the state in the state class uh, we can override it this method only call when our app started so to use that method type init state open and close bracket and again open and close curly brackets there is a warning not error because we have to call super class init state method now we need upwards and downwards values from shared preferences so let me copy and paste these two lines from upwards and downwards method now we have assigned shared preferences values to upwards and downwards so we don't need same two lines inside what up and what down method so i'm gonna remove get int method and increment what up variable by one and also we can do the same thing to what down method if you guys notice here we can replace this line using set state method that's also fine if i go to the init state method again uh, did you notice something that will lead to an error i think you do here we have declared our object without instantiating it we are trying to use method from it in other words the prep is null and we are trying to call methods from null so to instantiate this we have to make this method also async hold on this is not a good thing because init state is an inherited method because of that we can create another method and call it here so let's create a method called init and make it async and let's cut these three lines and paste it inside init method and now we can call init method in the init state method so still you cannot see the changes because even if we have updated variable values we didn't change the state when app launches so let's change the state using set state now as the last step uh, let's update our total words variable we only have to sum up upwards and downwards and assign it to total words variable one thing I almost forgot, we don't need to instantiate shared preferences in up, word up and word down methods because init is state called when our app started and we have called init in it. In this method, we have instantiated an object from shared preferences. Because of that, we don't need these two lines in word up and word down methods. Now let's run and test our app. Okay, if I close the app and uh, relaunch it again, we have our previous words guys make sure to add this whole code before the build method i think that's a good thing to do also if you want to clear shared preferences values call the clear method if you want to notify when values is saved use commit method you can always uh, view source code of shared preferences another important thing is uh, we have redundant codes here as example code for this to raise button are same except this text and on press method as solution we can create a method for a raise button and pass this text values and method as argument same thing we can do for these two text widget so you guys can tackle with this code and do something better than me and you can show us your work video is too long i'm sorry about that i just need to do this in a simple way that you can understand so if you guys have any problems let us know in the comment section
you can also subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos uh, press like button if you like this video and i'll catch you up in the next video bye for now